giving honor unto the Most High, our Creator, giving honor to the Messiah, Yahushua, who is Yeshua, and known as Jesus throughout the world. Father wants us to remember the commandment of the Passover that is also found in chapter 49 of Jubilees. Remember the commandments which you who are commanded you concerning the Passover, that you should celebrate it in its season on the 14th of the first month, that you should kill it before it is evening, and that they should eat it by night on the evening of the 15th from the time of the setting of the sun. For on this night, the beginning of the festival and the beginning of the joy, you were eating the Passover in Egypt when all the powers of Mastema had been let loose to slay all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh to the firstborn of the captive, maid servant in the mill and to the cattle. And this is the sign which Yahuwah gave them. Into every house on the lentils of which they saw the blood of a lamb of the first year. Into that house they should not enter to slay, but should pass by it that all those should be saved that were in the house because the sign of the blood was on its lentils. And the powers of Yahuwah did everything according as Yahuwah commanded them. And they passed by all the children of Israel. And the plague came not upon them to destroy from amongst them any soul either of cattle or man or dog. And the plague was very grievous in Egypt. And there was no house in Egypt there where there was not one dead and weeping and lamentation. And all Israel was eating the flesh of the Paschal lamb and drinking the wine and was lauding and blessing and giving thanks to Yahuwah Almighty of their fathers and was ready to go forth from under the yoke of Egypt and from the evil bondage. And remember you this day, all the days of your life. And observe it from year to year all the days of your life. Once a year on its day according to all the Torah thereof. And do not adjourn it from day to day or from month to month. For it is an eternal ordinance and engraved on the heavenly tablets regarding all the children of Israel that they should observe it every year on its day once a year throughout all their generations and there is no limit of days for this is ordained forever and the man who is free from uncleanness and does not come to observe it on occasion of its day so as to bring an acceptable offering before Yahuwah and to eat and to drink before Yahuwah on the day of his festival that man who is clean and close at hand shall be cut off because he offered not the oblation of Yahuwah in his appointed season. He shall take the guilt upon himself. Let the children of Israel come and observe the Passover on the day of its fixed time, on the 14th day of the first month between the evenings from the third part of the day to the third part of the night. For two portions of the day are given to the light and a third part to the evening. This is that which Yahuwah commanded you that you should observe it between the evenings. And it is not permissible to slay it during any period of the light. But during the period bordering on the evening and let them eat it at the time of the evening. Until the third part of the night and whatever is left over of all its flesh from the third part of the night and onwards let them burn it with fire and they shall not cook it with water nor shall they eat it raw but roast on the fire they shall eat it with diligence its head with the inwards thereof and its feet they shall roast with fire and not break any bone thereof for of the children of Israel no born bone shall be crushed. For this reason Yahuwah commanded the children of Israel 
to observe the Passover on the day of its fixed time. And they shall not break a bone thereof, for it is a festival day, and a day commanded. And there may be no passing over from day to day and month to month, but on the day of his festival let it be observed. And do you command the children of Israel to observe the Passover throughout their days, every year, once a year, on the day of its fixed time. And it shall come for a memorial well pleasing before Yahuwah. And no plague shall come upon them to slay or to smite in that year in which they celebrate the Passover in its season in every respect according to his command. And they shall not eat it outside the sanctuary of Yahuwah. But before the sanctuary of Yahuwah and all the people of the congregation of Israel shall celebrate it in its appointed season. And every man who has come up on this day shall eat it in the sanctuary of your Almighty before Yahuwah from twenty years old and upwards. For thus is it written and ordained that they should eat it in the sanctuary of Yahuwah. And when the children of Israel come into the land which they are to possess, and to the land of Canaan, and set up the tabernacle of Yahuwah in the midst of the land, and one of their tribes into the sanctuary of Yahuwah has been built in the land. Let them come and celebrate the Passover in the midst of the tabernacle of Yahuwah, and let them slay it before Yahuwah from year to year. And in the days when the house has been built in the name of Yahuwah and the land of their inheritance, they shall go there and slay the Passover in the evening at sunset at the third part of the day. And they shall offer its blood on the threshold of the altar, and shall place its fat on the fire which is upon the altar. And they shall eat its flesh roasted with fire in the court of the house which has been sanctified in the name of Yahuwah. And that and they may not celebrate the Passover in their cities, nor in any place save before the tabernacle of Yahuwah, or before his house where his name has dwelt. And they shall not go astray from Yahuwah. And do you, Moshe, command the children of Israel to observe the ordinance of the Passover as it was commanded to you, declare you unto them every year and the day of its days and the festival of unleavened bread, that they should eat unleavened bread seven days, and that they should observe its festival, and that they bring an oblation every day during those seven days of joy before Yahuwah on the altar of Yahuwah your Almighty. For you celebrated this festival with haste when you went forth from Egypt, till you entered into the wilderness of Shur, for on the shore of the sea you completed it. So we find in the book of Jubilees, we find again a confirmation about the Passover festival and eating unleavened bread for seven days. May each and every one that have gotten a hold of the knowledge of this truth Turn and do the things that has been commanded. If you are a child of the Most High and have accepted His Messiah, then that means we are one in the body of believer. And although we are not where all of this took place, we are still going understanding and obeying Father's command that things may go well. I do pray that Father forgive us if we don't have the day or the time correct because of the land we are living in. I pray that he would forgive us and that he would reveal to us so that we will know and that we will understand when he has given us revelation. May Yahuwah Baruch of your whole home, you, your whole home, your family, and may he give you peace 
and give you rest, give you understanding and give you wisdom and the knowledge to understand this season and this time. Amen. Oh,